I am basically going to share with you um, a little bit about my journey to Eagle Manager and specifically what I love about this topic that I've been asked to speak to you about is um, the support which we provided to our team and how we've developed our supervisors within our team because obviously with um, the Eagle Manager qualification you need to develop two um, Eagle supervisors in the qualification period of time. Um, Eagle supervisors, two supervisors, sorry. So what I'm going to do is talk you through that tonight and just share with you some top tips that we have found have worked for us in terms of developing our team. So to give you a little bit of a background about myself, um, so I started forever three years ago. I was an assistant head teacher and my partner, Tom, was a project manager. Now, our long term goal was that we would both be able to leave our careers and be stay at home parents to our daughter, Arabella, who Bob mentioned earlier. And due to our consistency and our commitment, which you heard Bettina speaking about and many of the other people tonight, that has enabled that to happen much quicker than we expected, which has just been fantastic. But it really didn't start that way so you know I'm sure all of you will be at different stages within your journey on forever um, and you may very well resonate with where I started or where I, I finished um, 2019 so December 2019 I finished on five case credits that was with a team as well um, so when people say, you know, they struggle to do 4CC, I really resonate with that because that was me. I was struggling to do that too. Um, and I think that kind of empathy with your team is really important. You know, we, we've all been there. We've all started out. And yes, you know, it is. You know, I think that's amazing that we all do start with that same box and it's what you do with it. But equally, it's quite daunting. I don't know about anybody else, but I actually, when I received my box, I put it in our spare bedroom. I left it there for three weeks. I was so frightened to open it. Um, but I did open it. And as the rest of say, is history. Now, my first 18 months, as you can see, they were a bit kind of um, roller coaster. They were inconsistent was the word. And that's why I finished on 5CC in 2019. However, it was in 2020 that I was like, right, things need to change here. And that's where... I, I really became consistent. That's where also Tom joined me in the business midway through the year. Um, and I was able to replace my salary as well. So by the end of 2020, I was become a manager in the April. I was part of 75 Club. I had achieved forever to drive in the November. I had achieved Eagle Manager, I think, also in the November. Um, and I was a chairman bonus, chairman's bonus qualified for the first time, which was just amazing um so it's just it's been a real whirlwind but what really excites me is it's shown me what can happen when you do treat this like a business and you are consistent with it so let me just give you kind of profile of my team we don't have a massive team at all um but what we do have is some amazing people within it so we do have an eagle manager ourselves, and um, beth jones so she's in our team we also have an assistant manager lindsay bellamy and in addition to that we've got seven supervisors as well from the qualification period time so if you think within that you've you've, you've got several people that we could have um used as our eagle supervisors um we love each and every one of them and you know particularly Lindsay and Beth uh, I know Bettina mentioned about one of her managers being her best friends that's the same for us as well you know Beth is one of my best friends so is Lindsay Lindsay and I actually knew each other from school uh, we're best friends lost contact over the years and reconnected so I think there's a real key thing there as well about you know don't expanding your network and going back to people maybe who you haven't spoken to for years um, and reconnecting with those people so I'm going to share with you some top tips now that I feel have really helped me to get to Eagle Manager. So I hope these will help you guys too. So my first top tip, chase the incentives. Some of the ladies have said tonight, it doesn't matter if we're not going on holiday. It does not matter. I know that if I chase those incentives, whether it's the 4CC suitcase or whatever else, my business is going to grow. And that is what drives me. So in that, when I finished um, December 2019 on five case credits, I went on to Forever Knowledge. I printed off every single incentive that was going, every single one. Bear in mind, you know, considering chairman's bonus when you're at 5CC with a struggle was a little bit optimistic. Um, but I did it because I wanted it. That was what I was here for. I wasn't here to mess about. I was here to replace salaries and to retire myself and partner. So that was what I was going to do. So you need to chase those incentives. And you can see here, um, I have actually a chart on my fridge and I cross it off. So when I was going for manager, I had a chart on my fridge and I've still got that chart now because I was so proud to achieve it. And I remember looking at it thinking, when, at what point in the month and myself and my upline 
line and sort of cross line. We have bets on as to what data do it. And these charts are really significant. And basically, it breaks down. I've got it on there for Global Rally, um, Chairman's Bonus, and also for Eagles. And I, and I highlight these off as we go. So every month when we get our bonus recap, we fill it in a little bit more. And it's really exciting. It sounds so simple. But these are the things that kind of keep you going and make you realize, am I on track? And we also put on there where, you know, at the start of the year where we or at the start of the qualification when we want to qualify and which part of the qualification when we want to qualify. So we really, really break it down. And we know literally day by day, week by week, what we need to do. And I think that's so important that actually we're doing this now as Eagle managers, but equally it's what we coach our team to do because it's what we did when we were going for supervisor. I knew how many gel drinks I needed to get a week. I knew what I was doing. It's volume mapping, isn't it? Which we know, but it's a really good way to kind of plan out what you're going for. My second top tip, you can see my partner Tom here on the screen and my assistant manager, Lindsay, um, leave from the front. So, you know, if you want a rocking retail business, if you want your team to have amazing retail businesses, yours needs to be amazing. And that is something which Tom and I have taken really seriously. As I mentioned before to Bob, we had a big community event here today where we opened our home and we showed people the products. We developed those relationships and it was really amazing to do that. And I think when you're doing, if, if you're mirroring to your team what you want from them, if you're showing them that, then that you will find that actually that happens. I would say, I think I'm right, that out of the nine um, supervisors that we spoke about before, um, Beth and Lindsay obviously inclusive of that as assistant manager and eagle manager, I think I'm right in saying that eight of those achieved supervisor independently, okay? And that has been really important to their retail, and we're really big on our retail, okay? So, my advice would be be an incredible retailer yourself. So, you know, show people how to, this is a, a stand that we did at a golf club near us. Be out there, be retailing. It's such an amazing time to be out there and sharing, you know, our amazing products with people. There's such a massive market for it. But I think that if you're expecting people to do 10 CC retail, not that they need to, but, you know, for some people, for, like I said, the majority of our team, that's how they've got to supervisor. And um, I feel like they've done that because they've seen us do that as well. So we've led from the front with that with being amazing retailers. My fourth top tip then. So this one, this one is, is a bit of a two-sided coin, really. So this is myself at the last success day. Oh my goodness, you can see the pride in my face. And when we get back to those events, I think you know yourself that's going to be a huge impact on our teams. However, I've put here get people at the beginning. And yes, you do want to get people at the beginning. You do want to get people when they're fired up. So I think, you know, really kind of having that daily contact with them when you get somebody new that signs. But equally, I think Bettina mentioned as well, you can't you, you can't get everyone. And some people just don't want it as much as you. And that's OK. And equally, though, don't write people off because for myself, I had been in the business for 18 months, very, very up and down, very inconsistent. But then look what I achieved in 12 months. So you just don't know. You just don't know who the dark horses in your team may be. Keep that connection there. I think if you lead from if you lead from genuine, you know, really heartfelt authenticity, people buy into that, whether that's with your team or with the products. But don't stop that when somebody signs. Keep that going. I check in with my team regularly, whether they are active or not, because first and foremost, we connect it through friendship, and I don't want to lose that. That's really important to me. Um, so my fifth top tip, share, share, and share. I am so delighted to be sharing with you guys tonight. I'm, I'm hope that some of the tips that I've shared will help you, but equally share with other teams as well. Share with everybody, whether it's sharing the products with your local community, whether it's sharing the business opportunity, whether it's helping other people in other teams. Again, be genuine, be a nice person, and you'll find that actually your business will flourish because actually people are buying into you and they're investing in you. And you'll find that you will get so much from them as well, not just from a financial perspective, but from just so much more, which I think is really important. Um, my sixth top tip, you need to have the biggest why. You need to have the most 
unrockable why ever. Um, I've taken this clip here, um, this photograph from something which Forever pulled together a couple of months ago. And it's a quote that I gave them about, about how I felt showing our daughter Arabella what I had created with this very little business, which everyone thought would fail. But look what I've created. And I felt so, so proud of that. And I am so proud of that. But I think my tip to you would be with, with developing UI and, and readdressing it as well. So don't just do it once, then come back to it. More often than not, your why is not materialistic. So for example, it might be that you want to take your family to Disney, but there will be a reason behind that. So whenever I'm working with my team, we play the why game. So they'll say, I want to take the family to Disney. Why? And they'll tell me, why? Why is that important to you? Why is it important that your kids get to go there? Why do you? And if you drill down, you'll find that actually these gold balls that you see covered in Range Rovers and trips to the Bahamas, that's actually not what people are necessarily working for. It's the feeling behind it. And the photograph that you saw before of me on stage, I have that printed in the front of my planner because the pride that I felt at that moment was just unbelievable. And it's those emotions that drive you forward and make your goals so much more than just a dream or a wish. They make it a need as opposed to a want. And that's what I really suggest you to do. You need to have, I need this. Not I want it, not I want a Range Rover, not I want a holiday to the Bahamas. I need to do this. And if you have that, you'll find that it will develop at an astronomical rate. Now, this is when we did go to head office and bumped into Bob a few weeks ago. And you can see this saddle to Arabella. If you've ever been to head office in the product centre there, you'll recognise this sign. Um, this couldn't be more poignant, really, with everything that's happened recently and the sad loss that we've had with Rex. But as you've heard me mention a lot of times, be authentic, be genuine and lead with love. Because if you do people will buy into you and you will not only get the financial reward, but you will get so much more than that. Thank you so much for having me on tonight. And I hope that some of those tips were useful to you.